What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. you're watching He Spoke Style, and today we're talking about five essential fall jackets. First up is the three quarter length trench coat. This for me is a much more versatile choice than a full length trench coat. Very easy to dress up and also wear in a more casual situation. Here I'm styling it with just a very classic fall business outfit. Before we get to the outfit details, let's actually talk a little bit about this trench coat. This is by Burberry Brit and Robin actually found this for me at a secondhand store in New York City for $300. I think the list uh, for this is around $1,000. So this is a really good secondhand find. Now onto the outfit. Gray suit with the window pane pattern is by Z Zenya, and I paired it with a light blue microstripe shirt by Michael Andrews Bespoke. Tie is by Seaward and Stern, part of the collaboration we did with them when we first launched the HSS shop. And side note, some exciting things happening in the shop coming up very soon. Accessories, leather briefcase is by Frank Clegg, Oliver Peoples Bank sunglasses. On my wrist, my Rolex Datejust 116234, and anchored by these double monk strap shoes by Paul Evans. Next up, we have the classic black bomber jacket. I could probably do an entire video on many different ways to style this piece. Actually, if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments or take the poll that I'll put up there in the corner. This jacket is by Theory. I recently got this as an upgrade to a Topman bomber that I've had for about six years. Uh, it was a long overdue, very good upgrade, and this piece is phenomenal. Now, it would have been easy to style it in more of a rock and roll kind of way, but I wanted to show how it could be worn in, let's call it a more grown up casual kind of way. So, very simple, classic white OCBD. This particular shirt is by Brooks Brothers Black Fleece. Great fit off the rack, but unfortunately, Black Fleece no longer exists. Jeans are by J. Crew, the 484 fit. Now I might start trying the 770s because uh, since I started deadlifting about five or six months ago, my thighs have started to get a little bit bigger. Uh, on my wrist is a really underrated watch and that is the Rolex Explorer 216570 on loan to me from my good friends at Crown and & Caliber. And then finished off with a classic pair of white Converse All-Stars. Next, I'm taking you to school with a great tweed sport coat. This is actually part of a suit. The very first suit that I had made by Michael Andrews Bespoke back in like 2014. This is a Donegal tweed by Ariston. It's quite a heavy weight, which makes this perfect as a fall transitional outerwear piece. And you can see that I went full on professor with the suede elbow patches. This look is what I would consider to be almost textbook business casual. This is a Goldilocks look. It's not too dressed up. It's not too dressed down. It's just right. So underneath the sport coat is one of my favorite denim shirts. This is a button down by Brunello Cuccinelli. And for me, a great example of and reminder that investing in quality is always a great choice. The brown pants I'm wearing are actually vintage 1980s YSL. They were so 80s that I had to have them tailored, but they've turned out good and I've gotten a lot of use out of them. My glasses, which a lot of you ask about all the time, are by Cubits. Briefcase is by Bennett Winch. On my wrist is my Vacheron Constantin Traditional Boutique Edition. And then finished off with these buckled kilty loafers, which I love, by GH Bass. Up next, we have a suede jacket. I like this as a very sort of luxe and refined option to add to a casual outerwear collection. Suede with its texture, look, and the way it feels, it's such a great way to elevate your outerwear game. Also, as you get older, it's kind of a great way to differentiate and show that your style has matured as much as you have. This coat I'm wearing is by Billy Reed. I picked it up on clearance a number of years ago in the Billy Reed shop in Greenwich Village. This look might be familiar if you're a fan of the website. I think I posted this maybe like four years ago. Brown gingham shirt, and then I layered in a waistcoat to give it a little more depth. Jeans are by Madewell. Up top, a felt hat that I discovered deep in my closet. The brand is Worth and Worth. Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel again on the wrist, and then finished off with these brown Chelsea boots by Jack Irwin. Finally, we have the shirt jacket, or as it is sometimes called, the shacket. This definitely skews more toward the casual side of things, but like I did with the bomber, I wanted to kind of challenge the notion that this was only a casual piece of outerwear. So I did that with another classic OCBD with a lightweight gray cardigan layered on top. This is by Uniqlo. Side note, I think Uniqlo sweaters are some of the best that you can get for the money. Um, and a lot of people know that, so they sell out quickly. So what I'm saying is that if you like it and you're looking to add some sweaters to your closet, head over to the website now and find some things that you like before they're 
sold out because that tends to happen much faster than all of us would like. Uh, back to the outfit. Jeans again are by J. Crew 484 fit. On my wrist, the IWC Ingenieur. And then finished off with these great oxblood leather boots by Bostonian. So let's round them up again. My picks for the five essential jackets you need for fall. The three quarter length trench. The classic black leather bomber. The tweed sport coat. The suede jacket. And finally, the shacket. As always, complete outfit details are down below in the description. I'll also put links to a variety of different options for each specific type of jacket at various price points. Leave a comment, let me know which outfit was your favorite, which jacket you like best. Thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.